Hello again, friends. Welcome to break number 85. We are doing a three box break featuring 2021 22 SP Authentic Ice and OPG Platinum. As you are already aware, 21 22 is your Cole Caulfield, Trevor Zegras, Raymond Sider, McTavish, a ton, a laundry list of tip top rookie names that we're chasing. Uh, we did pretty darn good last week. We pulled a Trevor Zegers Redemption Future Watch. We had a Matt Pink hard signed rookie auto from Florida Panther goaltender Spencer Knight. Uh, we're hoping for a repeat. So we will start off. Mm, let's go platinum because we'll just shake it up here just a little bit. A uh, couple quick things. So if you're interested uh, to know what teams that you have or if this is your first break, <clears throat> there was a video just before this one at about 3 o'clock. Uh, that will show you well, what your teams are. So you can take a peek that way, just kind of know who you're looking for. Of course, it'll be a fun rip here anyway. Peachy Platinum has absolutely been a favorite of quite a few people around here at the shop. Like I say, hopefully we can keep the good times rolling. So without any further ado, off we go. Hope everyone is having a wonderful weekend. And uh, we filled up this break awful fast. This was supposed to be one that we were going to do again on Friday, but ended up uh, filling up awful quick. Uh, UC Saros gets us kicked off there with a retro. We have a nice looking sunset parallel for Aaron Eckblad. We've got Thomas Novak and Adam Beckman and Brinson Pasichinuk. Pasichinuk? I don't know. P P Pasichinuk? Let's go with that. And we get a Chris Letang photo driven. Uh, I just kind of realized my camera may be a little, a little low here. Let's do a little, a little technical adjustment. Uh, we'll see what that looks like. And we'll rinse and repeat. Make sure to leave a comment, leave a like, let us know what you think. I'm always interested. I always want to know what you guys want to see broken. What, what, what do we want to open? What do we want to really dig into? Uh, obviously, we, we want to do all this stuff for you guys. So this is really what it's all about. Uh, we've got a Rainbow Patches, Max Pacioretty in Vegas, and uh, a little anticlimactic, but we got our rookie auto here right off the hop. Uh, not a bad name by any means, Taylor Radish. So Taylor Radish with a, with a Radish wish, or wish, or wish, with a nice hard signed rookie auto. We'll put him away and make sure we keep that auto nice and clean. Uh, our marquee rookie is going to be Hendrick Lapierre, Matthew Phillips, and Jacob Bernard Docker with Washington, Calgary, and Ottawa respectively. And a nice platinum die cut for Cole Caulfield with the Montreal Canadiens, of course. It's, uh... Ooh, now we're talking. We got the mood lighting all set here now. I knew something was going to rate. Well, keep in mind, yes, yes, the rookie auto was pulled, but there is still going to be a ton of value here in the rest of our packs. We're going to get three marquee rookies per pack. We should get some sort of retro, such as Alex DeBrincat in a Chicago uniform. Uh, marquee rookies here, Jonah Gadjovic. San Jose is some interesting players from Ontario, ironically. Uh, Gregory Denisenko with Florida, and Jacob Bryson, your marquee rookie there with Buffalo. Sweet selection dude, Phil Gustafson with Ottawa, and uh, a nice looking retro rainbow parallel for William Carlson. Try to get some of that rainbow shine. Make sure there was no more goodies hiding in the back. <clears throat> we got a little purple up there at the top. We'll see what that looks like. Jonathan Dallin with a rainbow marquee rookie. Garrett Pilon with Washington. Mason McTavish, of course, with the Anaheim Ducks. Cam York with a marquee rookie. And a Violet Pixels for Cam Fowler. So double Cam. So those guys are actually short printed to $2.99. Uh, it is number 101 of $2.99. So awful gorgeous card. Look at that. Just the way it pops. Like, man alive. And uh, Quentin Byfield, photo driven. So a nice little rookie card there for Quentin Byfield. And base, base, base. The beat goes on. <clears throat> Chris
Kirill Kaprizov. Kirill the Thrill. The nice retro. Thomas Novak out on the sunset. We have... We have... We have... Logan Thompson. I know that was worth the wait. Jonathan Dallin and Adam Ruzica. A little bit of stick here to these cards. It's kind of natural with the chromium or the, the platinum finish to them. No issues with the cards, obviously. Jamie Drysdale, nice rookie card with a sweet selection there, too. And I, I agree completely on our comment. There are so many inserts, and it's really nice. Uh, to me, I guess, I like it a lot more. It's a different, different configuration. That's the word I'm looking for. Uh, last year, I believe it was 20 packs and five cards a pack, so they were kind of quick rips. You were pretty much one and done there. Have a little bit of purple sticking out might be something decent, but it is nice. There's a ton of value. Typically, you get three marquee rookies in every pack, so like I said, real good value there. Uh, Tyson Yost, Yost Jost, he's not a host, but that's a nice rainbow parallel. William Lockwood, Maxim Shko with Philly, and Frederick Allard. And we've got another Violet Pixel, or a Violent Pickle, Cal Clutterbuck. Uh, $2.99, of course. This guy, number 87. And Adam Fox rounds us out with a Platinum die cut. Platinum is always a favorite of a lot of people. I mean, it is, the, the cards just pop so well. I mean, even just a rainbow. You know, P Panini typically has their silvers and that type of thing, and those are always the... The highest, more sought after, let's say, cards when it comes to it. Chris Letang with a retro. Philip Gustafson in Ottawa. My favorite caveman, Uka Pekka Lukonen. We have Ole 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 Alsing with Ottawa. And a nice matte pink, Jordan Stahl in Carolina. Even stuff like the matte pink. Right? I mean, it just looks, the border looks nice. That would have been the Spencer Knight Auto, one of our lucky, uh, one of our lucky guys here got from our break last time. And uh, Brock Besser. Mm, Besser! I'm going to have to start paying Jay on right royalties if I start saying that. Maybe I should stop. A little over halfway through the Platinum. <clears throat> Nothing too major yet. That's why we hold out. We're going to wait. We've had some real danger pulls. We've had Cosmic Marquee rookies for Cole Caulfield. Those bad boys are at a 65. We've had a lot of big pit hits in the past. So, uh, Drake Batherson, former kid from the queue with a nice rainbow. Jan Jenick in Arizona. We've got Sampo Renta with Colorado. We have Jonas Rondeberg. And uh, I think we got a violent pickle box here. We got David Ferrens. If you can guess the number at a 299 on the back, I'll give you a prize. We got to guess in the next 10 seconds. Alex Newhook. Is going to finish it off with the photo driven. And we'll just make sure that it's just the base there in the back. Dalin, Pugliavi. I think that was Drew Doughty. And a little bit of stick. There we go. Uh, the answer to the pop quiz was 94. If you had number 94, come up and collect your prize. All right. So three. Three violet pixels. <clears throat> three violet pixels. Sitting on a bed. More perps. We're going to have a whole uh, whole pickle set here. Josh Anderson, with a retro. Our second sunset parallel for the Florida Panthers. This time it's Captain Alexander Barkov, or Barky, as he's affectionately referred to as. Radom Zahorna. And uh, it, without this guy, Timmy would still be in the well. This Lassie Thompson. I told you I was going to get a new Lassie joke. I lied, clearly. I'm going to just run that into the ground. And do you like Violet Pixels? Because I do too. It's Scott Perunovic, our first marquee rookie. Same thing. Make a... There we go. Yeah, get, give a quick comment. If you can guess which number it is at a 299, I'll, I'll, I'll find something for you. Don't worry. Uh, Artu Rustelainen with a sweet selection. And uh, Blake Wheeler, Josh Bailey, and Alex Ayafalo round it all off. <clears throat> Answer to the pop quiz, 139. At any point, you can feel free. Put, put a comment in, just put a random number. If you end up getting that number of that card out of any of these packs, uh, we'll, we'll, we'll find something for you. So I see Matthew, you put 219. If I get any card, if it says 219 out of whatever, I'll, I'll hook you up with something. Adam Ruzica with a nice rainbow marquee rookie. 
can't really tell the rainbow in this this light, but you'll have to trust me. Well, I could also just show you the back and say rainbow. Uh, Maxwell Willman. Will Man. He's got like three first names in his whole name. Jacob Peterson with Dallas. Tanner Laksinski. And uh, a very nice parallel. The Arctic Freeze. These guys are out of 99. Here we go again. Make your guess there, friends. But uh, Brian Rust. Brian Rust was uh, our Arctic Freeze. Followed by Sid the Not-So-Much-Kid anymore, but still pretty cool. Crosby. And uh, Jared Spurgeon, Connor Brown, and Jacob Chitron round that off. Uh, pop quiz time answer to Brian Russ was number 93. If you had number 93, come collect your prize. Got a feeling I'm going to have a lot of prizes at the end of this. Maybe we'll start doing this uh, going forward. We'll just have a little, little incentive for anybody watching live, let's say. <coughs> we got a pink popping out here. It might be a matte pink. We have rookie Anton Lundell with a nice retro. Taylor Radish, marquee rookie. That can go along well with your rookie auto. Philip Tomasino with Nashville. And Jeffrey Veal. Probably delicious, served on a bed of rice, maybe with some little potatoes. Uh, we have Jordan Bennington, who I believe is going to fight Russell Crowe around the world. And Jake Glesh... Oof, that's a lot of consonants. Uh, Jake Leschyshin? With a nice map pink marquee rookie. Gorgeous card. Leschyshin? Leschyshin? I don't know. He's from North Carolina. That's, that's interesting. I always just kind of... I don't know. I always kind of just naturally assume that the harder pronounced names are, you know, just from across the globe, let's say. But... I gotta brush up all my names. Gotta play some more EA Sports and have the commentators say the name for me so I can figure it out when I come in here for you guys. Last pack time, by the way. Last pack magic. Let's go, William Carlson, Rainbow. We have another Arctic Freeze. Remember, these are out of 99, so make your guess. Nikita Kucherov. Nice one there with Tampa. We've had a ton of short print stuff this box. Tanner Janot with Nashville. Nice marquee rookie of Seth Jarvis. And with the Red Wings. Fortunately, not Raymond or Cider, but still not too bad. Joe Valeno and uh, Alex Newhook in his Colorado jersey. And a few more base. Da -da -da -da. The answer to Nikita Kucherov was D's Nuff, number 19 of 99. The Arctic Freeze Parallel. And those are nice. You'd obviously have that kind of rainbow finish to them. There is kind of a decent kind of look at her. Really pops. And uh, ni nice color match, too. Obviously, there with Tampa Bay, so not too bad there. Very good. One down, two to go. Let's go over to ice, because why not? <clears throat> so, quick little disclaimer ahead of time. Last week, I had announced the Frozen in Time cards. Those are the, the Dare to Tear. If you get one, um, there is a mini card inside. You have to decide if you want to open it or not. In that break, we did announce that if we got it, we would not open the card, we would not break it. We didn't actually pull one, and this time, we're changing it up. We're going to open it. So if we do end up with one of them, the uh, outer casing, I'll say, will go to whoever draws it, and then we will draw the mini card inside, find out what that is, and then obviously give that to its appropriate home as well. So as an example, if we get a Crosby Dare to Dare, we are going to open it. The Crosby card already open will go to the guy who has Pittsburgh. And then from there, whatever mini is inside, of course, will go to the person who has that mini. <clears throat> I think that's a little bit of a funner way to do it, let's say. It gives a little bit more excitement for everybody. And those cards, once they're open, still do have a decent amount of value, believe it or not. We have our 2021 bonus pack that came in ice. They did not make ice for 2020, 2021. So of course you're looking for your ice premieres of guys like Karel Kaprizov, Tim Stutzlaw, uh, Jason Robertson, etc. We'll leave that bad boy for the end of the packs. Uh, but of course we'll open that. And it's pretty good because even if you get, you know, some base cards as an example out of that pack, they can still have some value to them because there's not many of those packs around. So you can go a decent way. All right. Pack number one. A few base out of the way. We've got a nice Matthew Kachuk green parallel. Those guys pop kind of like the Violet Pixels there as well. And speaking of Florida, we have Anton Lundell. 
for the base rookie. Lundell definitely a good one to get. Continuing on. Looks like a box loader in there. Ross Colton. Ooh, we've got an extra curry in this pack, and that is a, a nice one. I'm going to share it with you in a moment. we got Ross Colton with the green parallel. I'll show you the back card next. It is a little uh, little game of Pintendo with Shane Pinto. And we've got a short print Mort Sider. We've got a Sub-Zero, the former Rookie of the Year. Uh, that guy, 601 of 999. 601 of 999. And uh, I'm telling you, just, just, just put a number down. If somebody would have had 601 down in the comments when I pulled that, I'll give you something. You may as well just make your guess, put a number in. You, you can guess negative three for all I care, but... You may, as well, you may as well try if you don't win if you don't play, right? That is definitely a nice looking card. It kind of has that, of course, this ice has a more acetate feel, but the colors really do pop on it when you get that type of purple. Uh, speaking of Robo from earlier, we've got Jason Robertson. <clears throat> we've got a really nice ice premiere of Alex Turcotte. Gorgeous clear cut acetate, whatever you want to call it, acetate, I guess. And that is 564 of 12.99, and we've got Alexei Protas with the base rookie. There we go. There, there. We're getting a few guesses in there now. That's right. You may as well, right? You're not gonna, not gonna cost you any more. 219.1489. My guess will be number 10. So if I do 10, maybe I'll treat myself to a, a baconator or something. Elias Patterson with a nice green one. And we've got a hit. It's a real, uh, real tippy top guy, Patty Kane. So red. You can kind of see a little white there. There we go. Just really ended at the red at the edge. But uh, Patrick Kane on the board in terms of getting a hit. And behind our box loader, Wade Allison with the base rookie. Last few times that we've done this, Ice has treated us very well. You're supposed to get one hit per box, an auto, a dare to tear, one of the frozen and ice, or a patch card. Uh, we've had a few fellas breaking ice in store lately, and they have had two to three hits per box on average. There was one guy who had all three, and the last break of ice that we did, we got both an autograph and a patch, ironically for the same guy, Zach Jones. So uh, just because we got that patch doesn't mean that we're all out. And now, man, that's pretty. A green parallel, I, I would call that a color match, but I don't know if orange is more the Anaheim duck, but Z, Trevor Zegers. Everybody's looking for him. Igor Chinikov. Look at the die cut. It's just, the ice crystals are just, oh man. It's a gorgeous product. I'm shedding a tear. Philip Tomasino is going to round us off with the base rookie there, too. Very beautiful, beautiful product. Like, man, those die cuts, they just, something about them. They look so good. Anytime you want to ever show one off or anytime you just have a, a big pull, if, you're a fan of, let's say, Anaheim, and you get an Anaheim guy, you, you gotta love it. Darnell Nurse with a green parallel with Edmonton. Jake Getzel with a purple parallel. And Pasta, David Pasternak with a blue parallel. We're gonna make a rainbow here pretty soon. Where Adam Zahorna rounds us off here with the base rookie as well. <clears throat> I'm gonna have a whole rainbow. We got Jake Getzel making another appearance, this time in green. We've got another gorgeous ice crystal of Adam Pelch with the aisle. Try to get that a little bit lower. Look at that bad, bad boy. And we got another short printy card, an ice premiere of Scott Perunovich. Uh, this guy, real short print down to $3.99. And uh, that's number 130 for anybody playing at home. Number 130. Uh, base rookie to round us off. Niles Olympus. So real real nice one though. So these premiers go a long way. They are sleek. And the beat goes on. We got Quentin Byfield. So nice rookie green parallel there. We've got an ice crystal for Mr. Jack Hughes, the budding new superstar. And Kalen Addison, base rookie, is going to round us off there. Did 
da, 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 da. we got Pui? Pui? Sutter? I've always just kind of I've only really seen his name. Is it Pui? Prius? It's not definitely not Prius. We got another Ice Premier. We're only supposed to get two of those on average per, but that's a pretty decent one with Jake Neighbors. And uh, 314 is the number we're looking for. Again, if you're playing at home, keeping score, whatever you want to call it. That guy's at a 799. And Cole Perfetti with a nice base rookie. One, two, three packs remain. Looks like two thins and a thick. Here comes a thin. Do, 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 do. Joel Erickson Eck. A nice color match there. Green parallel and mini. Jacob Markstrom with a nice orange. I'll call that color match, if you will, with Calgary. And Willie Eklund, our base rookie there with San Jose. I love the fact that there's at least a base rookie every pack. And Upper Deck's doing that with a ton of products now. Let's go with the thin one and then we'll do the thick. They're doing it with a ton of products now, and it just it gives you so much more value. Like you, you, you can't sneeze at a rookie, and if one of these guys does take off, the, the value certainly goes along with it. Mikhail Grenlin with a nice green parallel. A gorgeous rookie purple parallel for Lucas Raymond. I think he is going to be good. Oh, boys. And Mike Herdman, our base rookie there of Chicago. It's the final pack now. There we go. And it's a box loader, but, but. See a little thickness in there? Uh, take my word for it. We'll, we'll see what we got. Ooh, don't you have a base card on the front? That's how good it is. Start off with the back. Adam Beckman. We have a green rookie parallel for Spencer Knight. Kaboop. Ooh, boys. It's go time, my friends. We got a frozen in ice card. So these were the bad boys that we were talking about. You open them up on the outside. Uh, I'll show you here. So you can kind of tear those guys open. Waiting for the camera to focus, but I'm not quite doing it. So inside the frozen and ice card are numerous possibilities. Look for ice premieres, minis, as well as numbered parallels. To discover what's inside, open the card using the perforated lines on the back. So we are going to do exactly that. So just again, whoever had Minnesota out there, you will get the actual frozen and ice card. Again, they do have their value, even if they are torn. Uh, but whoever gets a card inside, we'll, we'll see kind of what team the matches up there for that. As we ever so carefully do a little bit of surgery. Da, 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 ba, da, ba, ba, ba. Bloop. Ooh, it's a rookie. Get that little piece out of the way. Boom. We open her up. Spencer Knight. A nice looking little, I'll say mini card, just in terms of scale beside a box loader. She's a tiny boy. But she's a nice one. They go a long way with those guys, so going to love that quite a bit. And uh, that's, that's the way that she works. So a little bit more excitement when we actually get to open it here on screen. If you had Minnesota, you'll go home with the frozen and ice. Uh, and if you have Florida, you're awful happy we opened it because you're going to get a mini Spencer Knight Ice Premier there too. Beautiful. Now it's time. 2021. It would be nice to get a Caprice off in this pack to kind of make up for having to open up that other one. But we'll see. Tyler Benson with Edmonton, Zach Wierenski, Connor Hallibuck with Winnipeg, Brock, not going to do it, Besser with Vancouver, a little bit of a parallel on that guy, I don't know if it's called the orange parallel, but, and our ice premier, Matthias Brown. 116 is the number we're looking for on that guy, by the way, Matthias Brown. I mean, we, uh, didn't quite end with a bang, a little bit more like a whimper, however, that's why we have this bad boy. So overall, a really fun rip. We got a decent amount of short print stuff. We got an extra ice premier. Uh, technically, we got an extra hit. That, that patch for Patrick Kane should have been considered your hit or the frozen and ice. Uh, so always nice to have a little bit extra that way. Kind of short printy stuff. Definitely a lot of good value when it comes to the OPG Platinum as well. 
Now it's time for the big boy, the big man on campus. So SP Authentic. Again, last time we ended up with a Trevor Zegas Redemption, which last I checked was well clear of $500 in terms of the way that it was selling. We'll see if we can get a little bit of repeat magic. And it looks like Spencer Knight's following us around here. There's a die cut of him on the back. I'll show you in just a moment. As we go through slowly. I get it. Red is pain, but red is... Hmm, is there? Yeah, let's go with that. Jonathan Marshall Show. Uh, the Thrill, Kirill, with the pageantry. And a nice die cut Spencer Knight that I alluded to just a moment ago. A nice little blue background there. Let's see what we can do when it comes here to an auto. I'm feeling it. I'm feeling it in my hands. There's an autograph in here. It's going to be something big. Of course, Bobowski's on the front. He's going to ward off any bad spirits. Well, certainly is an autograph. Um, I'm not sure why Isaac Lundestrom is, is getting autographs, but... Uh, it's Isaac Lundestrom. I've personally never heard of him before. <laughs> it's uh, obviously a nice hard signed autograph. I'll have to do a little bit of a little bit of research on this fella after the fact. But you have Anaheim. You got an autograph. William Eklund with a pageantry rookie on the back. Nice little movement to that. And uh, Ovi. Ovi, the grade eight Ovechkin with a true leader to round off that pack. Isaac Wonderstone. Maybe somebody can do a quick uh, open up a new tab and throw them in Wikipedia. Tell me, tell me what I need to know. E e educate me. Uh, how many games has he played? Um, anything is really helpful. <laughs> Jamie Drysdale, the limited red. Philip Tomasino with a pageantry rookie, and Jan Jenik with Arizona uh, with an SP top rookie. Continuing on. Nice die cut there on the back. I'll show you in a moment. We got a limited red Austin Matthews. Brendan Gallagher. I'm surprised they put a Montreal and Toronto player so close together in a pack. And Lucas Raymond. That's a much nicer pull. Nice rookie Lucas Raymond die cut. There's been a couple decent Lucas Raymond cards that have come out here so far. Last pack on this side. And then we will be in range. Limited Red Future Watch. Lassie. Should, should be a lot scruffier. I guess a shave Lassie. Uh, Spectrum FX, one of the bounty cards. So it's Parker Kelly with Ottawa. So it is a rookie card. Uh, just a super duper quick uh, rundown. They have a little barcode on the back that you can scratch off. If you collect the entire set and you scratch them off, you can redeem the code and get some prizes at Upper Deck. Uh, if you don't have a plan on scratching, or if you don't have a plan on collecting that set, Better not to scratch it. Once it scratches, it loses a little bit of value in terms of just leaving it that way. And uh, Cole Perfetti, with a lot of the intrigue there. Winnipeg is now opened up in terms of some ice time for old Cole Perfetti. I think he's really going to have a breakout year. One, two, three, four, five remain, my friends. And uh, for anybody who's new or for anybody who uh, already is expecting it, stay tuned after the break. Uh, in about 10 to 15 minutes afterwards, just need the time to set it up. We're going to give away a free spot for break number 86. So we've done that the last couple times. It's going well. And uh, we're going to keep that rolling. Nick Suzuki with a limited red. We have Ryan Merkley with a short print and a 999 future watch. It is number 650. Come on, let's get a little glare there. 650, you can kind of see it. And uh, a true leader, Brady Kachuk, who is just partying at a wedding with his uh, shirt off and... Uh, maybe had a pop or two at the same time. But he's a leader. Leads teams to the golf course. I kid, Ottawa's going to be good this year. We all know that. Just trying to get my licks in now. The red continues with Vasily Podkolzin. Speaking of young Cole Perfetti, there's a nice pageantry rookie. And Zach Jones. Boop, boop, boop. Three to go, three to go. No future watch yet. We have a red Elias Patterson. We have another bounty card, Spectrum, 
for Vassy, Andre Vasilevsky, and Wade Allison is our SP top rookie. Limited red, red future watch Joe Valeno, Austin Matthews with the pageantry, and our die cut, our Tony Panarin. That means one pack left, no future watch yet. I think we all know what that means. It's future watch time, baby. So again, uh, after this feed, come back in maybe 10 to 15 minutes. We'll have a brand new video that'll be up. It'll only be about a couple minutes long. And uh, I'll give you a really brief rundown during that video how it's going to work. But everybody who has a spot in this break has a chance at a free spot. Uh, no questions asked, no problem for the next one. Uh, the first time we gave away a spot, we had uh, the person upgrade up to three. This time the person just took the free spot. And now they're just enjoying this break free of charge. So, and it could be you. All right, let's try to do, uh, let's try to go slow here. So we definitely got our future watch. Number 721. Let's try to go, uh, let's try to make it a little, a little bigger. We'll go back to front. Uh, we'll get Cam York, SP top rookie out of the way. We have a rookie pageantry for Vasily Pod Colson. Number 50. Who's number 50? It is Benoit Olivier Giroux. So, can't hit on it too much. It's a nice out of 9.99. So, uh, the real deal future watch, it is exactly what you're looking to get you don't want the retros if you can avoid it so uh, i want to thank everybody so much for taking part watching the break being a part and commenting and just man we're, i mean we just love you we just love all of you and everything that you guys do to support us so uh we're going to end off this video i will see you guys back in about 10 to 15 minutes and uh, we'll go from there see you soon